So apparently there's a TikTok trend going on or what's going on in September. You know how fast these things come and go where people were using laxative in order to progress their weight loss or to lose weight. And now there's a laxative shortage in America. I don't know how accurate this is because different sources are saying no, there's not. And there's some are saying yes, there is. So who knows? But I thought this would be a good topic to bring up because if you guys don't know, I'm kind of on this series where I'm, it was it? I call it fine in my thirties. Yeah. I feel as a lot of young people now are first of all terrified to turn older to turn 30 it mostly 30 i guess that's the that's when you hit the wall but a lot of young people are definitely afraid to get older and are doing all of these tricks to stay young which in my opinion is definitely dangerous and it doesn't make any sense because you can never reverse age or aging is in, it's inevitable you cannot get younger everybody goes through that phase phases where you just grow old that's just that's just common sense i feel as though this whole diet culture is of course very dangerous we all go through us wanting to lose weight is normal because not everybody wants to be fat or obese not everybody wants to eat their way into different medical issues not everybody wants to be physically unable to get up or have breathing problems and all of that sort so making sure your body is up to par is 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 okay there's nothing wrong with it but when you try to go to the extremes to keep your bodies up to part, that's where it gets dangerous. And I'm not a scientist, I'm not a nutritionist, but I do pay attention to what I consume. I do pay attention to how my body reacts when I consume. So I have definitely listened to my body and did my own research on what my body likes, what it doesn't like, and how to enable my body to be better over time and not destroy it because I'm quote, quote, aging. So this laxative issue, I know everybody wants to be skinny. Skinny is in now. Every weight that you are as a female, if you don't feel like you're comfortable with it, it's totally fine. You could change, you could change it, but change it in a healthy way. And laxatives as a weight loss is not the healthy way to go about it at all. Um, being that everybody wants to be skinny so bad, people are going through the extremes to be skinny or to remain skinny. Of course, TikTok is always the core now of what is going on when it comes to the psychology, especially young people. Everybody in general, but especially young and impressionable people. So the reason for the shortage of laxative in America is because people are using laxative over-the-counter laxative in replacement of Ozempic. And you guys know Ozempic by now, I'm pretty sure. It's a drug that people with diabetes are supposed to be using, but because of some people in the media, it has been alleged that some celebrities have been using it to maintain their weight or for weight loss. So of course, monkey see, monkey do, and then if monkey does not have enough funds or the resources to get their hands on that drug, then they will go ahead and look for the alternative. And hence we have the laxative shortage. You gotta understand if you are consistently using the restroom, everything that you intake is automatically going to be released. Your body is not having enough time to disperse the nutrition that you just ate. And also if you are running on an empty stomach all the time with nothing in it, then there's no way your body can use that energy for you to go on and do your errands just throughout everyday lifestyle type of activities. So eating and then using a laxative for weight loss is literally 
another form of an eating disorder to be honest and we just have to say what it is people need the energy in their body to be released slowly over time in order for us to function we eat a big meal throughout the day that meal is what sustains us from falling over when we do activities or if we're working out because the energy and the substance in our body in our stomach is what we use to function now my whole goal is to make sure I am as natural as clean as possible on my journey to be fine in my 30s I do not want to gain excess weight I do not want to have visceral fat unnecessary visceral fat I do not want to have a fatty liver I do not want to have high blood pressure there are so many things I want to avoid because I know some of these health hazards are hereditary as well so in order for me to combat those i want to make sure i stay off of unnecessary foods stay off of unnecessary very detrimental diets stay off of medicine medicines like pills medical i want to stay off of all of that so i know for sure that using the restroom often on a regular definitely helps your health period because as soon as you eat something when your body is done getting the energy from what you eat it has to be released that's just the cycle of life i feel as though people are taking the laxative in order to shortcut that and basically progressing or speeding up the process of the release of the food that they eat I use the restroom just about every day and that is only mainly because of two things. One, how I move my body and two, what I eat because those two factors definitely helps me and helps my microbiome and it helps my digestive system stay regulated. All right, so let's go into some exercise alternative that I do in order for me to stay regulated. One of the main exercises I feel that helps me stay regulated is jumping any type of jumping doing burpees has definitely helped me relieve right away it definitely works and i will forever be doing burpees as long as i can as long as my knees can take it because a lot of the time i do burpees with waist as well i have various burpee routines that i do in the gym but burp any type of burpees will definitely help you will help your stomach churn properly, naturally, hence will allow you to use the restroom right away. Another exercise I do often is jumping jacks. Like I said, all of these are jumping alternatives. Jumping jacks, because you are jumping up and down, your stomach is churning and the food in your stomach is moving properly. Running for a height and not really for distance. If you're doing, sprinting does help because it's super fast. Um, but if you're doing a jog, jog more for a height up and down so your stomach could churn like that instead of jogging long ways for distance. I feel as though that has definitely helped tremendously for me. Another exercise is jump squats. Um, whether you do it with weights or without weights, it doesn't matter. Just make sure you are jumping and you are squatting really low in order for your stomach to feel the gravity being pulled and hence churning while you are doing jump squats. So those are basically my alternative that I use. Honestly, if I do any of these, a good set of three, let me see, I do like 12, 12 sets of three or three sets of 12, then as soon as I'm done right away, I have to use the restroom. If not, then either the next morning or the next day, I have to use the restrooms. So I realized when I go on a vacation and I am not exercising, I am very stagnant, I do not use the restroom. I'm not regular. I start getting constipated. So Definitely, even if you are on vacation, try to do, or if you are traveling, try to do these exercises in your room before your 
your day stars or right before you go to bed in order for you to stay regulated. The next factor that helps me stay regulated and not have to go to the extremes for these crazy diets fast is eating the proper food. You guys don't understand how much your food intake have on your body, have on your weight gain, your weight loss. It all starts with what goes in your mouth and into your stomach. These are some foods that helps improve your digestive system. Definitely make sure you have high fiber intake. That is whole grains, that is oats, um some people like to take fiber pills some people like to take fiber fiber um powders. i try to stay away from those i actually do have a fiber pill that i've had for years and i did not know these things when i first purchased the fiber pills so i was trying to use a fiber pill to make sure i'm regulated but then when i got to know my body i realized all i had to do was move in a specific way and be regular on my exercise in order for me to have a regular digestive system so i stay away from the fiber supplements and the fiber powders because they're just not necessary and over time they are going to be costly compared to if you just eat the proper foods and get the most nutrition out of your meals so with the whole grains i do eat um oats um yeah, that's basically what I eat for whole grains. Maybe my whole grain will come from my bread. It depends on what type of bread that I'm eating, but mainly I'm eating oatmeal. Oatmeal is literally one of my favorite breakfast foods, so I have no problem eating oatmeal in the morning. I pair it up with fruits, which is another one on the list. Fruits definitely has a lot of fiber in it. It's best for you to eat your fruits instead of drinking your fruits like in a fruit juice because you get that fiber that will help you stay regulated, that will help your digestive system churn and run properly on its own. Another thing I eat that is high in fiber is leafy greens. I technically eat spinach every single morning with my eggs. I do saute spinach with mushroom paired it up with my eggs so i love spinach i just buy fresh spinach and i put it literally in almost every meal breakfast lunch and dinner if i'm eating lunch sometimes i put it in a sandwich um even though i don't eat sandwiches like that but um definitely as a salad dinner i'm putting it in sauce with chicken or i'm putting it like in my pasta meals like i include spinach in just about every phase or every meal of the day so having leafy greens is not hard for me and of course you have your lettuce for your salads you have kale you have various type of leafy greens that you can include in order for you to get your proper fiber intake beans and fermented foods for fermented foods i definitely eat a lot of fermented foods now because now that i know the benefits of fermented foods with the microbiome in our stomach it is super beneficial so fermented foods like yogurt i do not eat yogurt with any sugar in it i eat i like my yogurts plain because i'm normally pairing it up with other things that will you know have sweets in it so i don't like getting anything sweet in my yogurt or any sweet yogurts or any sugary yogurt any flavored yogurts none of that i am definitely on a journey to making sure that my insides are up to par as best as possible while i age i don't really care about my skin aging because it's going to age it means that i've been living life you know th those are the signs of me living because i have such an american diet if i don't nip that in a bud now or as i grow older my insides is going to age way more than 
I wanted to or then my outsides because there's just so much processed foods. And advice I could give when it comes to me learning more about dietary nutrition is just to have a well balanced diet. Um, a little bit of everything is best because that's what your microbiomes, that's what your gut likes. Just a little bit of everything. Whole foods is really what I just strive for. I don't believe in the specific food categories like, oh, I'm strictly pescatarian. Pescatarian? No, that's a, <laughs> isn't that a religion? Wait, I said pescatarian. Oh yeah, I was right. I don't know. I thought okay, pes, pes, pescatarian is the religion. Okay, pescatarian. I don't believe in just being strictly keto, strictly carnivorous, strictly vegan. I don't believe in that at all because all of those lacks variety. Once you have more variety in your meals, your body feels much better because your body can get the nutrition from each and every one of the meals that you are eating. And also it minimizes you from having to take supplements to supplement the other things that you are not intaking. If you're missing omega, of course you're eating seafood to have that omega in your diet. If you're missing fiber, of course you're having the bread to have that whole grain fiber in your diet. You know, Having a wide variety of meals in your diet on a regular is literally the best thing that I've done to my, to my diet because I like to go out and try to see different meals I can create at home or different things that I've never had. And all in all, it definitely helped my gut system. So those are my laxative alternative. Like I said, I used to take probiotics for my gut system, but um, I just realized it wasn't working for me being more natural when it comes to the food I eat and the exercise I do helps way better to the point where I don't get constipated at all on a regular. Whatever I eat, it comes out naturally when it needs to come out. I feel as though that's the best route to go instead of trying to go look for drugs and different uh, diet fast in order for you to lose the weight because even though you may lose the weight right away, is more about sustainability, more about how you are maintaining the way, the lifestyle that you are maintaining in order for you to keep the weight that you want or to steadily lose weight over time. It is not a race on who gets the fastest weight loss journey, none of that. So all of these videos on YouTube on like, oh, I lost 50 pounds in seven days. Don't believe it because either one is super dangerous for the body or two is not true. It's just clickbait. Definitely over time, take your time to get to know your body. Take your time to see what inflames your body as well for you to avoid. And just use my tips when it comes to exercise and the meals to intake in order for you to have a more healthy, well-rounded microbiome gut digestive system.